So before we start, I'd like to talk to you about something that's been on everybody's mind recently. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about bear migration. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I know that for some it's a topic that can be a bit overbearing. Well, for others it might even be unbearable. But please, just bear with me as I present to you now the true story about how bears migrate. And to do that, I'm going to need the use of my teddy. Hey, this is why I've been single for so long. <laughs> now, inside Teddy, I have some highly collectible bear poker chips. They barely sold, which is how I got them. Here, check them out. I actually had more, but I dropped them on the floor, and I just decided to let the chips fall where they may. <laughs> but there are one, two, three, don't the same way, three, four bears. This used to be a story about the three bears, but then I lost mine. Goldilocks. <laughs> no, it's a story about the four bears, and I will do this with my sleeves rolled up, because you have the right to bear arms. <laughs> now, in the spring, bear number one leaves his cave in the higher Alps and heads for the lower Alps, because the lower Alps throws that out themselves, arriving at the other cave, just like that. Yeah. Now, this cave has started out empty, but now it's barren. That's right. <laughs> and that leaves three. Now, bear number two woke up hungry, but the cupboard was bare. So he left, had to bear right, until he got his bearings and arrived at the other cave. That's two and two. Now it turns out he barely got there because there was a hunter right on his tail. And why would anyone hunt bear? Have you ever tasted bear meat? I mean, it's grisly. <laughs> but, but, but I digress. So, so to summarize, these two have already traveled. Well, these two have yet to make the journey. But there was a problem with bear number three. You see... Now that he had all of that extra space, he didn't want to leave. But unfortunately for him, that chip had sailed because he was already at the other cave. Boy, he got there fast. Must have taken an Uber. <laughs> so we're going to do bear number four just a bit differently. Can you give me your left hand palm up? Okay, I'm going to place these into your bare hand one at a time. That's one, two, and three. And if I place this one into your hand as well, how many does that make? Four. How many? Four. Well, then that should forbear well for us. <laughs> now, now, listen carefully, because I'm going to take back one. Close your hand really tight like a bear trap and turn the palm down to keep those bear warm. <laughs> bear in mind, you have three. Well, I have one. But my bear can always find his way inside because he's smarter than the average bear. <laughs> and he does it like this. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Nobody, because my bear is gone just like that. But, you know... Bears don't disappear. They migrate from one cave to another. So please open your hand, have a look, and then I want you to count them up to mine one at a time, out loud so everybody can hear. One, two, three, four. And that's what I call migrate trick. Thank you. <laughs>